Please join me in welcoming the recipients of the Public Service Awards of Excellence. Please welcome the Honorable Dr. Andrew Fury, Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, and Krista Quinlan, Clerk of the Executive Council. We have been enjoying music provided by singer and pianist Jeffrey Taylor. Please join me in thanking Jeffrey for sharing his incredible talents this afternoon. Thank you also to our two sign language interpreters here with us today. As well, a thank you to the Royal Newfoundland Constabulary Mounted Unit for their attendance here. We had Sergeant Constable Jason Coombs and Constable Gwen Stacy. Also a thank you to Government House for providing the beautiful flowers that you see here today. Before we begin, as you are able, please rise for a moment of silence in honor of the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada. Thank you. And now please remain standing for the singing of the Ode to Newfoundland. When sun rays crown thy pine clad hills and summer spreads her hand, when silver Please be seated. Good afternoon, Premier Fury, Ms. Quinlan, honorable ministers, members of the House of Assembly, colleagues, families, friends, and award recipients. A special thank you to the selection committee members in attendance today. Welcome to the 20th Public Service Award of Excellence Ceremony. My name is Andrea McKenna, and I'm the Deputy Minister of the Department of Health and Community Services. I would also like to welcome those who are watching this ceremony online as it is being live streamed. 
Before we begin, I would ask that you please ensure cell phone ringers are turned off. Thank you. The Public Service Award of Excellence is the highest honor an employee can receive from the government of Newfoundland and Labrador, and I am pleased to be part of this prestigious ceremony and join you all here today. Each recipient of the Public Service Award of Excellence will receive a glass trophy, a framed certificate, and a lapel pin. The Honourable Dr. Andrew Fury, Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, Chris, and Krista Quinlan, Clerk of the Executive Council, will present the Public Service Awards of Excellence. I invite the Premier to share his opening remarks. Well, thank you, Andrea. It's certainly, uh, this is my second uh, award ceremony. It's certainly always an honor and a privilege uh, to, and humble, and really humbling to be in the presence of such esteemed a company and such esteemed public service. I think over the last couple of years, the call to public service has been elevated beyond tradition into a new stratosphere, really, when you think of what we've been through. And the only way to have gotten where we are and to have gotten through the significant, unprecedented challenges has been through sure public service and the commitment of individuals, not to themselves, not to their jobs, but to their communities and the collective soul of Newfoundland and Labrador. So it's truly humbling uh, to share a small portion of that with all of you today. It's great to see you all here in person. That's the other thing that's uh, becoming more and more common and more and more pleasing to me is to gather together in person after two years of looking at green dots. It's certainly a pleasure to see everyone in, in person. My friends, we have, hands down, the most dedicated public service in the country. A mighty team that has accomplished a long and serious, serious feats over the last year in particular. Now, we all know that these last few years have been unparalleled in their challenges. And I knew when I took over that the public service would meet them head on. When you think about what we've been through in two years even, navigating a pandemic, the global collapse in oil prices, significant supply chain interruptions, a cyber attack, inflation, generational forest fires, storms and flooding, welcoming people from Afghanistan and war-torn Ukraine and exceeding our immigration targets. Developing hydrogen, a whole new and renewable energy industry for our province. To now navigating this historic moment of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's passing and the accession of His Majesty King Charles III. You, the people of our public service, rose to those challenges each and every day. Again, not because you were doing your job, but because you are answering the call to public service. I have no doubt that those were challenging and are challenging times. But something remarkable has happened over this unprecedented period. Our public service, the people who look after the citizens of Newfoundland and Labrador every single day, grew even stronger, out of partially out of necessity, but I believe out of sure will and determination for the betterment of Newfoundland and Labrador. You adopted, you collaborated, you innovated, and you continue to do so as you have always done to improve the lives of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. As the beautiful and busy summer of come home year 2022 comes to a close, we all look forward to the fall. And this is as good a time as any to reflect on change and everything that comes with it. My friends, change is exciting. It's scary. Change is sometimes overwhelming. But the funny thing about change is that it provides opportunity. Winston Churchill once said, to improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often. Since my time as Premier, I've seen improvements and change within the public service firsthand. And after reading the considerable accomplishments of today's award recipients, the people of this province 
can take comfort as well in knowing that that improvement is having a direct and positive impact on their lives. Whether that's finding new ways to save taxpayer money, improving for forest fire or fighting, firefighting in general and flood response, protecting human rights, overseeing animal welfare, being deeply involved in your communities, supporting seniors, protecting our valuable water resources, or literally saving somebody's life. You all made a difference. And at the end of the day, if each of you can look in the mirror and say we made a difference, I think that's a good day. That's certainly why I put my hand up for this job, and the same goes for my colleagues in government. Now in a few minutes, we will hear even more about this year's award recipients. My friends, your work is invaluable. It's humbling, and it's honorable. It's not easy to receive this honor. In fact, to date, there have been just 153 public service awards of excellence awarded. That represents 105 individuals and 48 teams. Just pause and think about that for a second. Out of all the employees in the Newfoundland and Labrador government over this past several years, only 153 awards spread across those tens of thousands of employees. You are joining an elite company of award recipients so in closing, I want to thank you and congratulate you on receiving this, the highest award any public service employee can receive in our province. I also encourage other employees to consider nominating a person or team next year so we can hear more of their amazing sh stories. Because I'm confident, although there is incredible talent, inspiring talent on this stage today, they represent just a few of many more within our public service. Thank you very much. Thank you, Premier Fury. For the ceremony, award recipients will come forward on the stage and I will read a citation outlining the recipient's exceptional contribution to the public service. To receive the Public Service Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, William Donnelly. <laughs> William was nominated by Nicole Bishop. William Donnelly is a clerk with the Department of Education. His colleagues describe him as reliable, beloved by many, and highly skilled in building relationships. Mr. Donnelly was an integral staff member at the curriculum division and provided administrative support to more than 20 seconded teachers, all of whom had no prior experience working within government. He guided them, helped navigate tasks, and provided mentorship, which enabled them to thrive in their new environment. Now, Mr. Donnelly is responsible for a large part of the financial administration, where he manages the division like a well-oiled machine. He is organized, calm, and always willing to share the baked goods someone drops off to him. He is known as a respected confidant amongst, amongst his colleagues. He is on his, with his unfailing humor, Mr. Donnelly can be relied upon to brighten a room when needed most. Mr. Donnelly has served short-term assignments within other areas of the Department of Education when an urgent need arises for someone to step in, learn quickly, and lend a hand. Besides his vast experience in education, he has considerable experience in the arts and tourism industries in this province. He has volunteered and participated in events such as the 500th anniversary and John Cabot celebrations. Congratulations, William Donnelly. To receive the Public Servants Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, Mark Lawler.
Mark was nominated by Colin Carroll. Mark Lawler is the supervisor of industry services with the Department of Fisheries, Forestry, and Agriculture. In this role, he oversees forest fire operations in Newfoundland and Labrador. Mr. Lawler has been a critical player in the development of policy focused heavily on improving processes as well as supporting the delivery of programs within forest management. He has had a long history and career in roles such as fire enforcement, district and environmental management. His passion for protecting the forest has enabled him to excel with advanced training under the incident command system as an incident commander, where he was responsible for all aspects of an emergency response. Mr. Lawler has been the incident commander on fires in this province, as well as in Ontario and British Columbia. Along with three of his colleagues, Mr. Lawler was awarded the New South Wales Premier's Brush Fire Emergency Citation for assisting with the response effort to battle brush fires in Australia during 2019 and 2020. He has witnessed the effects of climate change and seen firsthand what can occur in light of various forest management practices. Mr. Lawler's commitment to health and safety, staff inclusion, and positive communication has helped the Department of Fisheries, Forestry, and Agriculture improve their programs and adopt best practices from other jurisdictions. Congratulations, Mark Lawler. To receive the Public Service Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, Carrie Majeed. <laughs> Carrie was nominated by Catherine Kelly. Carrie Majeed QC is the Executive Director of the Newfoundland and Labrador Human Rights Commission. She oversees the Human Rights Act, the Human Rights Complaint Process, and Human Rights Education in the province. During her 14 years leading the Commission, she has identified the need for change and growth in the support that is offered to community members who experience racial harm, conflict rooted in systems of oppression, or other social justice issues. Ms. Majeed's colleagues describe her as a unicorn. They say she values all voices in the room and she leads with vision, compassion, and humility. She is a role model and inspiration to those around her. Ms. Majeed collaborated with Relationships First to secure funding to create a new clinic for indigenous, racialized, and religious minority communities in the province called Community Justice Connect. Within its first year of operation, the staff received training and 20 community facilitators were organized in partnership with First Light. She is the chair of the Diversity and Inclusion Committee of the Law Society and sits on the Provincial Access to Justice Committee. Ms. Majeed also teaches the Law Society's Bard Mission course on human rights and is a regular spokesperson on human rights and social justice issues in the media. She also talks to employers, government schools, and community groups. Congratulations, Carrie Majeed. to receive the Public Service Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, Eric Minka. <laughs> Eric was nominated by Sean McLean. Eric Minka is a social worker with the Department of Children, Seniors and Social Development, currently located on the north coast of Labrador in Hopedale. He is currently the only social worker in the area. He has a strong desire to help others, a commitment to his clients, and given his connection to the community, has no plans to leave the area anytime soon. 
Mr. Minka moved to Hopedale in November of 2018. Since then, he has been part of a small and larger teams within the department and community. His dedication to the remote community is strong as he goes above and beyond every day to ensure that the people of remote areas have access to services. Mr. Minka has worked on many complex cases involving foster care, kinship, youth services, and youth corrections while remaining calm and compassionate. His colleagues say he has even stepped in as a snowmobile technician for them when needed. When social worker positions were vacant in nearby communities, he made many trips to Rigolette, Postville, and Makovic to ensure social work coverage in those areas continued. His devotion to the people of the area has also helped grow the relationship between the department and the Nunatsiavit government. Congratulations, Eric Minka. To receive the Public Service Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, Christine Nurse. Christine was nominated by Kim Oak. Christine Nurse is a Regional Marine Services Manager with the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure in Clarenville. In this role, she directly oversees the crewing coordination of eight vessels and more than 200 crew members for the provincial ferry fleet. Ms. Nurse's work has resulted in the streamlining of financial processes, improvements in the field of labor relations, and continuous safety improvements. Since 2016, Ms. Nurse's detailed review and analysis has achieved over $1 million in overtime expense savings. She implemented a number of quality control measures to ensure appropriate staffing levels were maintained. Ms. Nurse has made significant progress in filling vacant positions and developed an improved sick leave procedure. She takes a proactive approach and works closely with colleagues in human resources to address issues in a timely manner. Mrs. N Ms. Nurse's diligence and quick thinking has earned her respect amongst the Marine crews. Ms. Nurse's colleagues describe her as resilient, caring, resourceful, and willing to help others no matter the task. Her exceptional teamwork and organizational skills have enabled her to build strong relationships with colleagues, ferry committees, other departments, and the public. Ms. Nurse has created a climate of continuous improvement while also mentoring other, other managers and staff to lead and inspire others. Congratulations, Christine Nurse. <laughs> to receive the Public Service Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, Dr. Aaron Ramsey. Aaron was nominated by Keith Deering. Dr. Aaron Ramsey is a regional veterinarian in St. John's with the Department of Fisheries, Forestry, and Agriculture. Since beginning her career with the department in 2011, Dr. Ramsey has developed, delivered animal veterinary care throughout Eastern Newfoundland. Her work varies from providing services to backyard farmers, raising a few animals to feed their families, to large commercial, commercial producers who provide food for the entire province. Outside of her routine care for large animals, Dr. Ramsey demonstrates leadership in other areas of significance. She spent time on the north coast of Labrador administering vaccinations to dogs living amidst known active occurrences of rabies. Most notably, Dr. Ramsey was instrumental in identifying the first case of avian influenza, of the avian influenza virus in North America. 
She collaborated with veterinarians from the Canadian Food Inspection Agency to coordinate a provincial field response to the outbreak. This early diagnosis allowed federal agencies to la launch a large-scale response to effectively stamp out the disease at the time and provide early warning to the North American poultry industry to begin emergency disease preparedness. Dr. Ramsey's colleagues describe her as an extraordinary leader with a profound, profound dedication to her fieldwork. Through the Animal Health Division, she provides exceptional mentorship to many students and new veterinarians in large animal procedures in Newfoundland and Labrador. Congratulations, Dr. Ramsey. To receive the Public, Public Service Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, Lainey Woodfine. <laughs> Lainey was nominated by Jennifer Nolan. Lainey Woodfine is a social worker with the Department of Children, Seniors, and Social Development. For almost 20 years, she has supported and worked with the most vulnerable populations in the province. Ms. Woodfine has developed strong relationships across government agencies, community partners, and stakeholders through her collaborative approach, while delivering high-quality service to her clients. Generous, enthusiastic and compassionate are just a few of the words that colleagues use to describe her. Ms. Woodfine identified a growing need within the system and played an instrumental role in the creation of an innovative pilot project that helps seniors transition from income support to federal benefits at the age of 65. She maintains the high standards of this project while de delivering wraparound services ensuring seniors' medical, housing, and psychosocial concerns are addressed. This initiative gained positive attention nationally from Service Canada, as well as across provincial government departments and community partners. Ms. Woodfine is known in agencies throughout the province as someone you can call to get things done. She is a strong leader and advocate who tirelessly creates meaningful connections in the community. Always willing to lend a hand, her forward thinking creativity inspires everyone around her. Congratulations, Lainey Woodfine. To receive the Public Service Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, the Community Water and Wastewater, wastewater Team, Chris, Chris Blanchard, <laughs> Paula Daw, Jenny DeCoste, <laughs> Jerry Lahey, <laughs> Darren Patey, <laughs> Jim Pollitt, and Deneen Spracklin. The team was nominated by Haseen Khan. The Community Water and Wastewater Team has been instrumental in ensuring that communities in the province have updated, updated and effective water systems. They work with 365 communities to train operators, ensure the systems are safe, hold annual workshops, and deliver programs. The hands-on operating training program created by the team is the first of its kind in North America. 
Since 2002, the number of trained operators to go through the program has grown from 66 to 550. Their work has resulted in the reduction of the number of boil water advisories in the province to an all-time low in recent years. They achieve this by hosting one-on-one -on -one mentorship sessions, infrastructure assessments, and the development of other capacity building tools. During the pandemic, the team delivered an operational wastewater surveillance program for COVID-19 from scratch. The program helped detect the virus in the broader population for early detection of outbreaks, trend monitoring, and to help inform public health decisions. The combined technical and operational knowledge of the members on the team have helped educate the water system operators in the province. As a result, there is a stronger confidence and reliability in the quality of water systems throughout the province. By maximizing the return on municipal water and wastewater systems, the members of the community water and wastewater team have enhanced the sustainability of infrastructure and the lifespan of the system for years to come. Congratulations to the community water and wastewater team. Chris Blanchard. Paula Daw. Jenny DeCoste. Jerry Lahey. Jim Pollitt. Did I? Oh, we missed one. Darren Patey and Deneen Spracklin. To receive the Public Service Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, the Flood Forecasting Development Team. Cyril Bunnell. <clears throat> Adele Costello. <clears throat> Jason Langdon. Stephen Lomond, Chris Mackey, Nisi Moland, and Michelle Neville. The team was also nominated by Haseen Khan. The flood forecasting treatment team created two flood forecasting systems that are the first of their kind in Canada. The Badger and Churchill River flood forecasting systems enable the Water Resources Division to provide real-time, high-quality flood forecasts throughout the year. They are key adaptation tools for climate change. The forecasts provide early warning to residents of the province and enable various agencies to prepare and respond in a timely manner to protect life and property. Thanks to the work of this team, water levels can be forecasted for the coming 72 hours, giving residents significantly more notice to make preparations and take necessary precautions for a potential flood. The systems were delivered under tight timelines while displaying exemplary leadership and professionalism. These automated systems are critical for public safety and allow government to do more with less, while reducing the possibility of human error. In line with government's commitment to increase its digital online presence, the systems were developed as online web applications and were not impacted by COVID-19 lockdowns. The systems created by this team have been presented at national forums to much acclaim. 
Congratulations to the Flood Forecasting Development Team. Cyril Bennell. Adele Costello. Jason Langdon. Stephen Lomond. Chris Mackey. Nisi Moland. And Michelle Neville. To receive the Public Service Award of Excellence presented to individuals and teams who through exceptional work performance have demonstrated excellence in public service, the Royal Newfoundland Constabulary Patrol Team, Conception Bay South. Constable Daniel Cadigan. Constable Kyle Fowler. Constable Brit Brittany Hurley Eye. Constable Stephen Martin. Constable Alexander O'Keefe. And Constable Jake Sharp. The team was nominated by Inspector Alex Brennan. The Royal Newfoundland Constabulary Patrol Team displayed a tremendous amount of bravery when they responded to an emergency call involving the rescue of a person in crisis at the Manuals River Bridge in Conception Bay South. The officers overcame harrowing conditions such as heavy fog causing poor visibility and unreliable radio transmissions due to poor reception, as well as a distressed individual who actively fought against the life-saving attempts. During the rescue, the situation was very dangerous for the officers. There were points in the rescue effort where the officers began to lose their footing and were pushed down the bank. In order to ensure rescue, they removed their body armor to fit between the rails in, a, in an attempt to pull the individual to safety. Multiple officers worked courageously and tirelessly to ensure a positive outcome. Despite the harsh circumstances, the officers continued to persevere, relying on their training, experience, and quick thinking to achieve a positive outcome that could have otherwise resulted in tragedy. They worked as a team through these exceptional challenges under immense pressure. By the time the Conception Bay South Fire Department arrived on the scene, the individual was too weak to resist rescue efforts and was ultimately taken to safety. The officers demonstrated a commitment of service to the community through their profound act of bravery and peaceful resolution that saved someone's life. Congratulations to the Royal Newfoundland Constabulary Patrol Team, Conception Bay South. Constable Daniel Cadigan. Constable Kyle Fowler. Constable Brittany Hurley Eye.
Constable Stephen Martin. Constable Alexander O'Keefe. And Constable Jake Sharp. I would now like to introduce Krista Quinlan, Clerk of the Executive Council, to offer closing remarks, followed by a short video which expresses our thanks to the entire public service across Newfoundland and Labrador. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure for me to be able to share this afternoon with you as we celebrate the recipients of the 2021 Public Service Award of Excellence. With its 20th award ceremony, the program has reached a significant milestone. And today we continue the tradition of recognizing remarkable public service employees. I'd like to thank Andrea for acting as moderator for today's event. I'd also like to thank Premier Fury for his thoughtful comments and for taking the time to acknowledge the recipients and their accomplishments. I know how much he values this award program. I also know that your families, friends, and colleagues here today are excited and proud to participate and celebrate with you. So thank you all for coming. It was inspiring this year to read the strong nomination packages that were submitted. We had the highest number of nominations since 2009 and the committee had the daunting task of selecting this year's recipients. I thank committee members for their work. While today we honor seven specific individuals and three specific teams with the Public Service Award of Excellence, this is also a celebration of the thousands of other public service employees who continue to answer the call and serve their fellow residents. You may not all be receiving awards today or this recognition today, but know that your contributions to the work of the provincial government never go unnoticed. The impact of your work is felt far and wide throughout Newfoundland and Labrador. As the Premier noted, we've experienced a great deal in the past few years, but they say necessity is the mother of invention, and I think that certainly applies to employees of the provincial government who worked diligently during the past year and more to ensure that residents could avail of the critical programs and services that they rely on. But employees did so much more than just keep the lights on. As we see from this year's recipients, despite the obstacles thrown at us, there's still often opportunity to be innovative and creative. Combine that with hard work and a passion for public service and great things can result. The Public Service Award of Excellence is the highest award that any provincial government employee can receive. It's a form of recognition from your peers, which makes it even more special as it was they, your peers, who nominated you for this honor. Once again, thank you to the 27 people who are receiving the Public Service Award of Excellence here today. You can all take pride in the fact that your actions have had a direct and significant impact on the people of this province whether through personal interactions or through programs and services that affect virtually everyone in this province. Share your awards with your departments and colleagues and continue the great work that has brought you this fabulous recognition. It's certainly deserved. You don't wear a cape. You simply serve with unwavering dedication. You make a positive difference in the lives of individuals, families, businesses, and industries. You enhance our lives, keeping us safe and healthy. You push forward through challenges for the betterment of our communities. When I look closely, 
I see hard work, determination, connection, resilience. Because of you, society breathes easier. Because of you. Ми пишаємося називати Newfoundland та Labrador своїм домом. Our province is stronger because of you. Thank you for your commitment, passion, and service. But what you do goes beyond a thank you. That's why we don't just recognize your service, we honor it. You're awesome. We are beyond grateful for your work. Thank you for all that you do. We appreciate you. Thank you. Nakumi Bhut. Way to go. Thank you so much. You have my deepest thanks. We would like to thank the coaches in each department who helped promote and support the Award of Excellence nomination process. Their role is key to the success of the awards program each year. To those who took the time to prepare nominations recognizing the accomplishments of your peers, we say thank you. We also extend thanks to the selection committee for their thorough consideration of the nominations. The committee consists of persons familiar with, but at arm's length from the public service. They review the nominations and recommend individuals and teams to be recognized. This year's selection committee members included Justice Alphonsus Fowler, committee chair, and members Anne Chafe, Dorothy French, Trevor King, and Gary Norris. We must also acknowledge and thank the planning committee who are instrumental each year in the management of the nomination process and planning of this ceremony, as well as, well as our... Sorry, I lost page. Too many pages, my apologies. As well as our colleagues at the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure and the Arts and Culture Center for their support today. And last, but certainly not least, we offer our sincere congratulations to the recipients of the Award of Excellence and extend our thanks to you for your outstanding commitment to the public service of Newfoundland and Labrador. Please give them a round of applause. We will now close the formal part of the ceremony. As you are able, please rise for the singing of O Canada. Thank you all once again for being here today. Please join us for a reception just outside of the theater doors to the right. While the guests are exiting, recipients, please make your way back up to the stage for a group photo. Thank you. <laughs>